I'm not one to try and ruffle any feathers, to try and put any extreme opinions out there. This channel for me is just for fun and for cataloging my adventures in the hobby. But I feel like recently there's been a movement that I now think that we've hit the, the precipice of this movement of being disrespectful to, to certain people in the hobby, especially artists in the hobby. It coincides with the signature market. The whole idea of, you know, the signatures that have recently been stonking off on PWCC or whatever. There have been signings that have been scheduled recently by different people. I think Arita just had a recent signing in Norway, maybe. And then there's a signing in Baltimore that's going to have some people at it. And Saito recently did a signing. And all these great artists that have been around for, for so long in Pokemon have been doing signings. And Pokemon seems to be regulating these signings by making it so that the signatures have to be personalized, which means they put your name and then they say they write their signature. So to here, signature. And I think in the past, people have said that they have done trainer. So to trainer, signature of the artist to try and bypass the whole like personalization thing because, well, if it says my name on it, then it's specific to me and I can't make as much money on my card because I have to sell it to someone with the name Tyler, right? So if you're looking at this primarily financially, you want the most generic name or a way to remove the personalization off the card so that you can sell it for more money. I saw something recently that really kind of rubbed me the wrong way. So apparently um, someone in a Discord that I'm in, I'm not gonna say anything, and I think multiple people did this during the signing. I think um, I've at least seen two, I believe, of, of this way of doing this is they had Arita at the Norway signing, and they, they literally had Arita put to Arita and then sign Mitsuhiro Arita. And essentially, Arita signed the card twice. There was a one just below that that says, apparently, to collector. So they had him sign it in Japanese to collector, and then his name, Matsuhiro Arita, underneath with a couple of sketches on some booster boxes. I view a signing like this as like a super personal thing, right? It's like you are paying money to go. You are going there to meet the artist, meet this like awesome person that's been in the hobby for so long drawing your favorite Pokemon on your favorite cards. You're going there to meet them. You're going there to get their signature. And to me, it would be a very personal moment with that person, getting to walk up, shake their hand, say hi, getting to meet someone that you've looked up to or that you've you've enjoyed their cards for so long. It's that personal moment you can have with that person and then that personal moment can be solidified in history by the thing you bring for them to sign. And then it's even further personalized because it has your name on it. So it is the perfect memento of that moment. It's got your name on it, the artist's name on it. And you can remember that forever. It's a very personal thing. Of course, these people aren't looking at it that way. They're just seeing how much money they can make off of their card being signed by Mitsuhiro Arita so that they can then just sell it on the secondary market and try and make as much money as possible. I can guarantee you that the minute Arita signs his fifth or 10th or 20th um, signature where he's signing his name as the recipient and his name on the card, he knows, he knows in that moment that that person doesn't care about this moment. The person cares about how much money they can make after the moment. And I think that that's really sad. I just think it's sad that these artists, you know, they take the time, they set aside time in their schedules to come out and do these. I mean, they live in different countries. <laughs> they're, they're coming all the way to America. They're going all the way to Norway. They're going all the way to these different places to do these signings for collectors like us. And so many people are walking up to them with the mindset of which card should I bring that's gonna garner me the most money after it's autographed. Like, to me, that's just, it's really sad. And these 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 artists are not stupid. You know, the, the 20th time that Arita signs Arita as the recipient or trainer or a collector, they know exactly what you're there for. And it, and it probably, I would assume, it would, for me, kind of ruin that moment. It would make me think, okay, why am I doing this again? Everyone's just coming here to get my signature so that they can sell it. Or they, they're getting my signature so that one day when I die, they can sell it. Like, it's really grim to think about and kind of disgusting in some ways. If he was just signing posters and he wasn't signing cards or booster boxes or anything else, how many people do you think would go to that? Comparatively to how many people went 
because they were able to find some loopholes to be able to get something that they can sell after the fact. It was another thing recently it came up, people trying to figure out different ways to remove the personalization from the card without damaging the card. It's like, oh, do you use isopropyl alcohol? Can you use acetone? Can you use nail polish remover? Can you use like any of this stuff? Can you quickly just like remove it with a little bit of water and a Q-tip? Why even go at that point? Like you're wasting this incredible experience just trying, just chasing money. The whole signature thing to me just doesn't make a whole lot of sense in general because I think at any point Pokemon could just send all their artists to worlds every single year. And then there's hundreds and hundreds and thousands of these signatures on the market for each of these artists. And sure, there will be artists that will refuse to do signings. There will be there will be artists that die over time and can't, can no longer do signings. And that will affect the market in ways. The more popular that these things become, the more they're going to start to happen. If Pokemon's not dumb, the more that they're going to start to happen. And the more that these artists are going to be out doing these big signings and the more signatures you're going to see on the market diluting the actual cost of the artist's signature overall. Like, why do you think that some of these voice actors, their signatures don't add much value to the card? Like Sarah Natacheni, for instance, the voice of Ash. She's been the voice of Ash for over 15 years, I think. And she's been doing signatures at every single Collecticon since Collecticon started, I'm pretty sure. She's, she's at least at every single one this year. How many hundreds of of cards out there have her signature on it. I don't think that they're going for insane premiums. It's one of those things that's like, it could easily change very quickly, the whole signature market. And it's not something that I wanna get into myself. And this idea of going to these very personal events where you get to meet the artist, you get to have this experience and then ruining it, not only for the artist, but also kind of for yourself because you're only there for money. I don't know. It just seems really kind of scummy to me personally. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, I think signatures are really cool. I think I would only really do it if I was at, I, I wouldn't buy a card that had a signature on it, I don't think. But if like Arita was signing at a Collecticon and it was, you know, 30, 40 bucks for a signature and I would probably get something signed but I would get it signed for myself. I wouldn't get it signed to then immediately sell on the secondary market for however much multiplier there is for their signature. I, I, I don't know. Just let me know. What do you guys think? I think it's a little weird, but oh well. We'll talk to you guys later.